Hello. Hello, hello. Hello. Hi. 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 I was making sure I was like actually hearing you and not hearing you from the screen because I have you stream on. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I might have, I don't remember. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> What's this sign say? Morning dog marriage. Uh oh. Read it again. Oh wait, hold on. I got attacked. Lesser dog. I love him. I do too. There's a lot of pets. I'm gonna pet him. You, sh you should use them all. You should what? You should use them all. There's a lot of pets. Where's the Judge SMP stream? Later. You have the butterscotch pie? That's a great question. I think you do. Wait, you don't? I think I probably put it in storage. Okay. Because I don't think you ate it. I think I would have screamed if you did. <laughs> uh, How do I change my mind on using an item? Uh, Oops. Die. I guess die is the best. Dying is the best uh, way to change your mind about an item. Wait, 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 wait. Uh. So, so I, sh I should go get the pie. What does the pie? Wait, what? What? Said you have the pie, right? I you think so. Yes. So if you if you have it, that's good enough. It's just a good healing item. That's all. Oh. I think it's like, it's like the only item that heals you to your max HP. Oh. Gotcha. Is this your first time playing Undertale? It's not my first time playing it, but it will be the first time beating it. Magpie is turned up to the max. I can't turn Magpie okay. up anymore. I can speak louder, I guess. Okay, I can speak louder. Fang. <laughs> Thanks for letting me know, Val. Also, hi dwarf, hi gamer lover sixty four, hi magics, and hello, Val. I was debating whether to say Majesty's underscore very fury. I will. My mic will also just Ooh. a little probably shh sound if I scream too loud. Critical pet. You have to jump up to pet the dog. How long is today's that. stream gonna be? I don't know yet. Well, we we kind of we 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 play it by ear. We play it by ear. Scream and shout and let it all out. We scream and shout and let it out. I'm saying, <gasps> will you get copyright claimed if I sing too much? You might. We might. Yeah, because I'm like it's basically a one on one on one like cover, so. If I was worse at sinking, I could. 
Judge, are you my dad because my mom also says play by ear? Only you two say that? That sounds about right. So... Funny because when... the, the person who says play it by ear that I got it from is my dad. My dad says we'll play it by ear. <gasps> what if you two are actually siblings? What, me and who? You and Val. And you, it's it, it's it's just that you don't know about it yet, because Val's, Val's Val's mother and your dad got together. That's why they say it. Oh my mm. god. I think that's a good theory. Um, but yeah, game gamer lover, I've never beaten Undertale. We've gotten a little bit past Snowden, and that's all I've ever done. Um. But it and I don't I don't know any of the any of the endings. I've managed to avoid all spoilers. Imagine not even being 30 and everyone calls you old and dad, it's true. So that's what happens. I'm only 21 and people call me old. Because all of my friends are younger at uni. When should I stop petting this dog? Never. <laughs> that is your fate now. That's all this game is from now on. You'll just pet this dog until the end of the universe. Until our sun explodes. Thank you. Val, did you just spoil the ending of Hasbun Hotel to me? Not cool. I knew Sans would be involved. Hmm. The game says you might have a problem for petting this dog for so long, you know? Yeah. But I think... That just says that you're persistent. You have determination. Is it? Does it? Is it stopped now? Or like, is this the end? No. Eventually, it will come out from the bottom of the box. But honestly, I think you can stop, and everybody will forgive you for that. At this point. Are you sure? At least get to the years popping out, and then yeah. Oh, there he is. Yeah, kitty. So if he goes off the bottom of the screen, will he start coming back up? I'm not sure, actually. That might be the end. <laughs> Perhaps mankind was not meant to pet this much. It continues. <laughs> The lesser dog is questioning your choices. It continues. I like the tail wagging a lot. Yeah, me too. It's beyond your reach. Really? <laughs> really? Now might be the end. Yeah. So you're doing pacifist route? I don't exactly know what that means, but I assume so. I haven't yes. killed anything. Yes, he is. I am the master Undertale wise person who knows everything. And the S judge is on the path for that. I personally don't try to be too forward with hints or anything but judge just kind of chose a pacifist route on his own okay i don't think it goes anymore lesser yeah. dog has gone where no dog has gone before you won i won <laughs> you did win and lesser dog won as well 
Can you check the sign again? I forget what it said. It's a dog wedding. Yes, you read that correctly. Oh. Oh, okay. Or dog marriage, sorry. What if you didn't finish Undertale today? I'll stream it again. I didn't stream it I didn't finish it last time. I've been taking my time. I've been I've not been rushing it. Yeah. Cause time is precious. Eventually Judge will, because I want Judge to finish Undertale. <laughs> it's true. So I'll just spam him in his DMs like I do. Okay, I found the switch. Oh. Oh. Ice Cap and Snowdrake confront you, sighing. Jerry. Compliment. You inform Ice Cap that it has a great hat. Yes. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Snowdrake re realized its own name is a pun and is freaking out. You tried to steal Ice Cap's hat, but it's not weakened enough. Help, fashion police! Why are we doing it? This would have fail. I can't believe I navigated that. Congrats. Ignore. You managed to tear your eyes away from Ice Cap's hat. <laughs> it looks annoyed. What? What are you doing? Eyes to meet you. Oh. Help, fashion police! Better not snow flake out. Oh, I think I don't think I could have gotten uh, out of there. Maybe heal. Yeah. Spider donut. Oops, I walked right into that. Also, a reminder that the snow piece was taken from a snowman that wants to go very far away. Yeah. Not saying you sh you can't eat it, it's just saying that... You know... Better a hatter than a hater. Monster. Oh! Three enemies is tough. You try to steal Ice Cap's hat and succeeded. It melts in your hands. Oh, I could just stay right here. Oh, never mind. Ow. <laughs> Fights you in cold blood. I died. Well, at least you have your healing items back. No? Wait, does, it, does that mean you didn't save after fighting Lesser Dog, right? No, I didn't. Will you pet Lesser Dog again? <laughs> I, I guess I have to, don't I? No, actually you don't have to. O only like a cosmetic change will happen if you do or don't. Only what? Only like a cosmet- like a, a little small thing will change whether you do or don't, and it's not like that important. It's just a little- it's just a little easter egg, I think. Oh. I mean, people in chat might be angry if you don't, but... I let them go. Oh, you get way less money. I only got 7 gold instead of 60. Okay, so that's that's the incentive too, I guess. Did I hit the switch? No, I did. I think there's another way to defeat um, that person with the hat, by the way, too. That monster with the hat. I don't remember what, it was, that, what the way was, though. What's that smell? Where's that Where's smell? smell? Oh, okay, I got the ones that aren't in parentheses. If you're a smell... Identi identify your smell. Hmm. 
Here's that weird smell. It makes me want to eliminate. Eliminate you! Dog... Doggy assault you? Dog guy. Like multiple of, multiple of dogs. Dog guy. Ah, I see. Too suspicious of my smell. That's not your husband, okay? The dogs are re-evaluating your smell. Just as weird as before. Smell mystery. How do you dodge that? What? What? At, at the bottom. Mmm, that makes sense. You smell like a weird puppy. Take my wife's fleas. Don't actually. Oh, you have to go back to the middle. Okay. You smell all right. What? Smells like a... Are you actually a little puppy? I went too fast. Uh -oh. I went too fast. You know what? I think you suck at video games, Judge, today. I guess so. You're not in your best form. No, it's true. I've never died in Undertale, and today I died twice. Yeah. Well, now, now I'll be able to get my 60 gold. <laughs> You're kind of better. Yeah. Okay, I guess we have time to chat then. Hmm. <laughs> mm, what what can we chat about? What's your favorite kind of dog? My favorite kind of dog? Yeah. All of them. Interesting. Every single dog that has ever existed is my favorite. That's I think I yeah. That's valid. That's valid. Wow, he like extended his jump. So are you probably going to stream later today? I'm going to stream a different game later today. But on YouTube or on Twitch? Twitch. Some people... Haven't some people, like, some bigger streamers, I think, started streaming on both Twitch and YouTube? How does that work? You just stream on YouTube some days, Twitch on other days. No, but at the same time. Yes, you can't do that. If you they're do if I... if they're doing that, then they're breaking their Twitch affiliate contract because you're not allowed to do that in your affiliate contract. Maybe they had like a different contract rewritten because I've seen like a bigger streamer do that. They, I wonder how they're doing that because in all, that is against the the affiliate and the partner contract in Twitch. You're not allowed to simulcast something that's on Twitch to another platform. What game later on today? Minecraft. With lore, right? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna see how much money I get for doing it this much. 20 gold. So yeah, you still get more even for going farther. That's funny. I still didn't hit the switch. Save? It's a good idea. I should have saved after I got the 60 gold. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, one second. Changing something. Okay, I checked and I think some people just have, like, get a permission from Twitch to, like, get a bit of a change in, con in the contract. Like, if you're big enough, they just decide that it's fine. I uh, see. That's weird, because they said 
they said they're not doing that anymore. That was the whole change whenever they changed it from the 50-50 split for old partners to the 70-30 split. They said that the, everybody was going to be getting the same affiliate and partner contracts no matter what. So that's weird. Unless they already went back on that. Maybe, because I definitely have seen streams from both platforms at the same time. And from what I'm reading right now from Reddit, Ninja does that too. Oh, Ninja streams on I Kick. Remember, but I see... Okay, maybe it was four months ago. Maybe now he changed. Like, okay. But either way, I've seen Doug Doug stream from both YouTube and Twitch at the same time and have both of the, both chats on the screen. Interesting. Maybe he's not affiliated on Twitch. Maybe he's just streaming on Twitch. I doubt it. Because he, he's like... He was always like mainly a Twitch streamer. Yeah, you can terminate your affiliate contract, but still get donations, though. I'll check. Okay, that time I took no damage. I think he's partnered. I figured it out. Congrats. Oh. Oops. You're finally getting back into your your how do you call it? Like zone. Yeah. Yeah. There we <laughs> Gaming go. zone time. <laughs> Where's your G fuel? How do I go back? What's the okay, it's X. There we go. 40 gold. Yeah. Yeah. Dogs can pet all their dogs. A new world is open up for us. No. We didn't read it out loud, so I did. Sorry. Turn every X into an O. I did it. Oh, it's Papyrus. Did you avoid my trap? We don't have Val here. It's true. And more importantly, is there any left for me? Um, I'll probably stream Minecraft at like 7:30 EST if I had to guess, somewhere sometime around there. Uh, let me get my Twitch link. Hang on. 7:30 EST. I might be asleep. We'll see. Here is my link to Twitch, if you want to follow me. I'll be I'll be live over there. What? I ate it. Really? Whoops! Whoops! My Twitch mod really? is playing suddenly. <laughs> Oops. Really? Okay, I'm I'm practicing. Wow, we. No one's ever enjoyed my cooking before. Well then, Wretched Human, I, Master Chef Papyrus, will make you all the pasta you could ever want. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> yeah. Are you doing okay there? <laughs> I could I could try Papyrus' voice. My brother started a sock collection recently. How saddening. Wow. 
Sometimes I wonder what he would do without such a cool guy taking care of him. <laughs> there you go. There's that's there's my papyrus voice. You're very loud when you do it. Good. Human. Hmm. How do I say this? You were taking a long time to arrive, so I decided to improve this puzzle by arranging the snow to look more like my face. Unfortunately, the snow froze to the ground. Now the solution is different. And, as usual, my lazy brother is nowhere around. I suppose what I'm saying is, worry not, human. I, the Great Papyrus, will solve this conundrum. Then we can both proceed. Meanwhile, feel free to try the puzzle yourself. I'll try not to give away the answer. Turn every X into an O, then press the switch. Uh, let me think about this. Got this. I gotta do... <laughs> Wait, cause, cause no, cause you got like the normal laughs, but uh, one of the texts I had to read was he 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 nye, and that's like uncomfortable. Ha <laughs> I did it. Congrats, congrats. Wow, you solved it. And you did it all without my help. Incredible, I'm impressed. You must care about puzzles like I do. Well, I'm sure you'll love the next puzzle then. It might even be too easy for you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here's Sans. <clears throat> what was my Sans voice again? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember what my Sans voice was. It's like a cool, lazy guy. You must be really good at puzzles, huh? I mean, it's impossible for you to have seen this one before. Oh, because you played the game before. You've seen it. True. For a game lover 60, 64, like years ago, Judge played up until like... Years? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was like a year and a half ago. <laughs> That's year plus, so years. It's uh, the human! You're gonna love this puzzle! Until... Go ahead, you go ahead. Dutch played up until he saw Undyne, I think, but didn't fight her yet. That sounds but, about right. But you don't remember much, right? So Correct, it's... yeah. It was made by the great Dr. Alphys? Alphys. Alphys. You see these tiles? Once I throw this switch, they'll begin to change color! Each color has a different function. Red tiles are impassable. You cannot walk on them. Yellow tiles are electric. They will electrocute you. Green tiles are alarm tiles. If you step on them, you will have to fight a monster. Orange tiles are orange scented. They will make you smell delicious. Blue tiles are water tiles. Swim through if you like, but if you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you. Also, if a blue tile is next to a yellow tile, the water will also zap you. Purple tiles are slippery. You will slide to the next aisle. However, the slippery soap smells like lemons, which piranhas do not like. Purple and blue are okay. Finally, pink tiles. They don't do anything. Step on them all you like. How is that? Understand? Understand the explanation? Yeah. Great. Then there's one last thing. This puzzle is entirely random. When I pull this switch, it will make a puzzle that has never been seen before. Not even I will know the solution. <laughs> Get ready. How long do you usually stream for? Depends on what I'm doing. With Undertale, um, I'm just kind of going, I'm just kind of doing it until um, until me and or Magpie feel like we've made enough progress. Cause like I'm not, I'm not in a hurry. I'm enjoying my my slow take on Undertale. I think you might be able to beat Undyne today if a different fight, like actually maybe not. We'll see. Let's see how t how timing wise it will go for you. 
Actually, that's spaghetti from earlier. It wasn't too bad for my brother. Since he started cooking lessons, he's been improving a lot. I bet if he keeps it up, next year he'll even make something edible. Yeah, based on RNG. It's the broken head of a snow dog. That's one of the, that's the thing that it does, like petting the dog. You get a lot of, a lot of statues here. Gotcha. Otherwise, otherwise you would just get like a lump of snow and the dog licking the snow. Knowing that dog will never give up trying to make the perfect snow dog, it fills you with determination. On the floor inside is a box of pom pom raisins. Aware of dog. Please pet dog. Oh, okay. A dog just rushed in here, filled with inspiration. It kept trying to build a snow dog that expressed its own emotions. But as it built, it kept getting more excited about the sculpture. Its neck got longer and longer, and it added more snow until it was rather sad to watch, but I couldn't turn away. Did they say anything else? Nope. Okay. No. And I have to read it through it again. Boom, 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 boom. It's a long conversation. Yeah. Oops. Oops. Oh, what? I slid right off the edge. It's a snow papyrus. It's a lump of snow with the word sands written on it in red marker. <laughs> of course. Of course, yeah. But it's kind of cute to imagine both of them like building their own statues. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, you can't change it back once it's a... Oh. No, you lost. That stinks. <laughs> okay. Uh, this one. There we go. Oh, wait. Dang it. Okay, you didn't get it, actually. <laughs> I, I did get it. I just... Messed up. Kind of, you almost got it. I just needed to go right instead of left. Yeah. So you didn't get it because you didn't do the last step. Okay. And you got it. Can you hear it when I clap? Yes. I don't know if they can though. No. Okay. Well, you won't meet Sans anymore there. Oh, you will. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. What's up? Because if you go too far, then Sans kind of disappears, I think, from here in this area. Are you lost? Oh. Uh-oh. Gif trot. Gif trot. Decorate. You had some googly eyes you found on the ground. Gosh, Gosh darn teenage darn. googly eyes. <laughs> I'll let you read them. <gasps> he called you a teenager. So you're not old. You can't, you can't improve on perfection. Gosh darn teenage googly eyes. How do I know it's not a trick? Thanks for nothing. Oh. <laughs> That's a little better. Wait, Snowdrake put a picture on. Oh, that's so cute, actually. Is it like a Christmas tree? I gave him 35 gold. Uh oh. 
Aw, you shouldn't have. Yeah, you shouldn't have. I got zero gold. I got scammed. Yeah, you basically lost gold in that interaction. Ah, happens life, right? That's just life. Boom, boom. It's a door. Am I not able to go in here yet? No. I don't know if you ever are capable to go through here, actually. Oh. Maybe in some, like... I think there's, like, a... a... Say, are you following me? Maybe on Nintendo Switch? No, it's somewhere else. It, there might be like additional content there, but it's not in the main game. Hmm. It's a snow puff. And this is a snow puff. This, however, is a snow puff. Woof. What a tiny doghouse. Hmm. Surprisingly, it's a snow puff. Snow puff. Is it really a snow puff? Behold, a snow puff. Eh? There's 30G inside this. What is this? Okay, so it's a snow pop. You're, you're only five down. Aww. <laughs> Aww. It's the greater dog. What's up? What's up, David? Uh, what's up, Davida? I mean, I want to pet him. Greater Dog is too far away to pet. You just pet the air. Aww. Can't we pet its legs? Play. Greater Dog is not excited enough to play with. Oh. He's barking at me. Love this music? music me too. Overall, the music in this game is amazing. Beckon, you call the Greater Dog. It bounds towards you, flecking slobber into your face. Greater dog is seeking affection. Pet. Curls up in your lap as it is pet by you. It gets so comfortable, it falls asleep. Zzz. Then it wakes up. It's so excited. Oh, wait. It turned white? That's so cheeky. Greater dog is patting the ground with its front paws. Play. You make a snowball and throw it for the dog to fetch. It splats on the ground. Greater dog picks up all the snow in the area and brings it to you. Now dog is very tired, it rests its head on you. Greater dog wants some TLC. As you pet the dog, it sinks its entire weight into you. Your movement's slow, but you still haven't pet enough. Pet capacity is 40%. You pet decisively. Pet capacity reaches 100%. The dog, so good at petting. the dog flops over with its legs hanging in the air. Bark, bark. Bark, bark. Greater dog is contented. Pet him more. Tummy rubs are forbidden. Oh. Oh, it changed white twice? Come on. White, come on. Come on. Tummy rubs are forbidden. Why do you keep petting its tummy? Greater dog is contented, I guess. Oops, I don't want to fight him. It's like a cat. If you pet it too much, then it gets angry. 40 gold. Aww. <coughs> he Aww. jumped in the armor the, back, the wrong way. It's just a little guy. Yeah, even the spear had a dog face. Human, this is your final and most dangerous challenge. Behold, the gauntlet of deadly terror. When I say the word, it will fully activate. Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice. Each part will swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because 
I am about to do it. Well, Hi, well, what's the hold up? Hold up. What hold up? I'm I'm about to activate it now. That uh doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge, it seems, maybe too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one. I am a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair, and my traps are expertly cooked. But this yeah, method is too is too direct. No class at all. Away it goes. Phew. What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus. Yeah. Huh? I love Papyrus so much. Me too. I don't know what my brother's going to do now. If I were you, I would make sure I understand blue attacks. Do you? Yes. No, I don't think so. You're supposed to not move. And then they don't hurt you. Sure. We're in Snowden. Oh, save the game, please. Oh, now we can check and see if I kept the... Yeah. The butterscotch. Use the box. Yes. I did. It's still in there. Yeah. Also, you have butter cider. You can take that. Because <coughs> there's a shop here, so maybe... Hello, traveler. How can I help you? Hawk. Say hello. Can you chat? Ah, welcome to Snowden. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Uh, where did you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? You want to know what to do here in Snowden? Grillbees has food, and the library and the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. At the inn, it's right next door. My sister runs it. Actually, the bunny looks kind of angry. I don't know how I should voice her. She looks kind of angry, right? If you're Wait. tired, you can take a nap then. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second. It's fine. I can practice. If you're tired, if you're tired, you can take. A a nap at the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. That's funny. I'm trying. If you're tired. If you're tired. <laughs> if you're tired, uh, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. I think it's just like a normal voice. She's a shopkeeper. girl. And if, you're, and if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those lucky skeletons do their thing. There's two of them. Brothers, I think? They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. Think back to your <coughs> class. A long time ago, Monsters, monsters live in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they liked the cold and set up camp in Snowden. Oh, oh, uh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door has been locked for ages, so unless you're a ghost or can burrow under the door, forget about it. Life is the same as usual. A little claustrophobic. But we all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we get that, got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? Tough glove. Weapon, 5 attack, slap him. Armor, 7 defense, it has abs on it. <clears throat> Heals 11 HP times 2, eat it twice. That seems really good. Heals 22 HP, it's my own recipe, cinnamon bun. I think I want the bandana for the defense. Yeah, that's smart. And then, maybe... 
Maybe the bicycle? Yeah, that sounds good, because I think healing more often is a bit more useful to you than healing 25. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. Bye now, come again sometime. <laughs> that was funny. Bye now. How do I, let's see, item. We want to wear the bandana. You, so you equip the bandana. Info. Bicycle heals 11 HP. It's a two-pronged popsicle, so you can eat it twice. <laughs> Bandage heals 10 HP. It has already been used several times. Oh. Spider cider heals 24 HP, made with whole spiders, not just the juice. Oh. Nice cream. Heals 15 HP. Instead of a joke, the rapper says something nice. Spider juice just be blood? Snowman piece heals 45 HP. Please take this to the ends of the earth. Do I need to carry it with me or can I put that in my box and take it out later? Well, depends. Do you want to carry it until the end of the earth or, <laughs> or do you want to eat it? <laughs> I want to carry it to the end of the earth. Then I think you can keep it in the box. Okay. Stick. Weapon attack zero. Its bark is worse than its bite. Toy knife. Made of plastic. A rarity nowadays. Does the stick make it so I don't deal damage if I accidentally attack something? Since it has zero uh, attack? Maybe? You threw the stick away, and then picked it back up. Oh. You can, I think, actually, I'm, I'm sad I didn't, I forgot about that. I think when you're fighting dogs, you could have used the stick. Oh, and it did something. I, I see. I see. <clears throat> My inventory is full, so I'm gonna put some stuff away. I just remembered there's a bunch of voices to voice in this town. I'm gonna save the game since I shopped. <clears throat> you can be the little child. No, actually, I don't think it speaks. Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. What's maximum HP? Welcome to Snowden. Snowden's premier hotel. One night is ATG. Jeez. That's a lot of money. Do I get anything for sleeping or does it just heal me? Give me my health. Mm, all I can say is that you won't regret doing it. Okay. Here's your room key. Make sure you're bundled up. Bundle up. Hmm. That's gameplay. Hiya, you look like you had a great sleep. Which is incredible because you were only up there for about two minutes. <laughs> Here's your money back. You can pay me if you're going to stay overnight. Oh, I see. <laughs> I get it. And it does heal you, I think. Uh, it does heal you above your much maximum HP. Oh, I'm at 30 health, yeah. Yeah. And it's for free, so you can use that as you want. Once. <laughs> I don't want to teleport over here yet. Don't want to walk to the other side of town? Try the undersnow tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. That lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. <clears throat> Does it disturb you too, Judge? No. Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bundons are so adorable. <laughs> she literally looks like my friend. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Yeah, with the bow and the head and the and the and everything. But jorts in the jorts in the snow. Yeah, that sounds like her. Also, she is a bunny, and she has a bunny on a leash. 
you want to read this one or should I read this one? I can, I guess. Of of team storm into the local monster by decor. Now you read it. <laughs> Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree-like horns. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. I like you did. You celebrated Christmas. Guess it was a good thing those teens tormented that monster? Uh, I guess. I can read this. You, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. I wonder if that's that weird skeleton is an adult or a kid. This town doesn't have a mayor. But if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. <laughs> politics. Indeed. Politics. Is, that's basically how you talk in my head. Hmm. <laughs> no matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Help! I want new drinks and hot, hot guys. Tell someone, my friend. <laughs> okay, wait. Hmm, isn't human food different than mon from monster food? It does things like spoil. And when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Custard. I'd love to try it sometime. I guess the bartender's kind of... hot. <laughs> hot. <laughs> hot. The jukebox is broken. <laughs> then why is music playing? Hot. Maybe it's playing in your head. The capital's getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're going to start moving here. Hmm. I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture. But I definitely want to see some city slickers slip onto their butts. Oh, or maybe it's broken in a way that's it's stuck on one song. <clears throat> yeah. Bring them on. True. We're sentries, but we never get any respect. <laughs> I wish those skeletons would show us a bone. We love bones. Well, it's the same thing. Uh, see, everybody else has said two different things. <clears throat> uh, we are. You better watch where you sit down in here, kid. Because that big guy will jump into your lap and give you lots of love and attention. <laughs> I'm thinking of getting a spiked collar to show off my personality. It makes a statement like, attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. <laughs> you, gave the, you gave it a good voice. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite thing in the whole game. Baby. <laughs> it's time stuff. It's time stuff. Okay, I'll stop. It's playing poker <laughs> against itself. It appears to be losing. <laughs> I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. <clears throat> I don't know what voice to do for this guy. Those dogs are part of the royal guard, the elite... Oh wait, dogs wasn't an insult. They're dogs, wait. Those dogs are part of the royal guard, the elite military group led by Undyne. Actually, I think a different voice would be better. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up.
Grobs said that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. And Stream Elephant said to take a glass and drink some water like, at, the, at the exact time. At the exact time. At, 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 at true, time. true. That's so funny. I want to be the mouse. Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our moder modern crisis. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything. So why be morose about it? Is that a mumbo jumbo rock? That's playing monsters and humans. What's mumbo jumbo? The Minecraft YouTuber with the mustache. Oh. You aren't gonna make yeah, me play the human again, are you? <sighs> to be young again, the world sure felt boundless. Ah, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Ah, my patience rewards me. Ah. 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 Okay. I'm trying. I love that. Someone has to do it. I don't get it. Like global warming is happening, right? Someone mm. needs to take care of that, right? Why is this so creepy? Mm. I don't know. Probably because the music stopped. <laughs> I know that wasn't the question. I don't know. Library! Welcome to the library. Yes, we know. The sign is misspelled. Dad, look in your eye. You're someone that has difficulty solving Junior Jumble, aren't ya? I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. <laughs> <coughs> when I was a youngster, my teachers gave me world searches when they ran out of assignment. I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. Love, hope, compassion. This is what people say monstrous souls are made of. But the absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't their souls don't need these things to exist. Based. Monster history Oh, should I read these from the left to the right? Yeah, I think so. <clears throat> it's a school report about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on that person's favorite thing. Then their essence will live on in that thing. Uh, am I at the page minimum yet? I'm kind of sick of writing this. While uh, are we doing this? Yeah, one? yes. Okay. Uh, while monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us. But they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. Fizz, what does that mean, first of all? Second of all, you gotta update your username. It's not right. That? That's Fizz. Fizz sense. No, I think it's Sulfur Rat. Same person. Mm, who's Fizz? 
Biz is Sir Siren Head. You've seen me do Cryptocraft with them. Okay, hi. There's a whole there's a whole corpse song about my friend Fizzsense. Ooh. Here, I, Here am. I am. Writing this book. <laughs> a person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it. Oh, sorry. I'm still writing that one. <clears throat> there's a corpse song. It's not Corpse, it's somebody else's song, but Corpse is featured in it, called Siren Head. I You've never heard that, that before? Works. I didn't know that either. Oh. Actually. <laughs> well, there you go. I would play it, but it is the opposite of wholesome, and Undertale's pretty wholesome. So. Uh, I can try reading the lyrics to it. It's not wholesome. <laughs> it's not but, wholesome. But changing the lyrics to wholesome words. Oh, okay. Do oh, you want to read this one? Uh, because they are made of magic, monster bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul struck with the desire to kill... Um, let's end the chapter here. Monster History Part 4 Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city, home. We braved harsh cold, damp swampland, and searing heat, until we reached what we now call our capital, New Home. Again, our king is really bad at names. True. Siren Head, Siren Head, Siren Head, Siren Head. Si lurking round the corner. You gonna wish that you was funky dead. <laughs> it's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. This mailbox is labeled papyrus. Look inside. Yes. It's empty. That's so sad. No, I think I don't think it's that he doesn't get mail. I think it's that Sans never checks his mailbox and papyrus keeps it very neat. Okay, yeah, this actually makes a lot of sense. Guess who joined the Judge SMP? Probably, probably Val. My probably, probably my friend Val joined it. No, it was you. I've already been in it. No, but but Val said it's you. So you love when a song repeats you. the same word five times. Amazing lyrics. Yeah, it's great. If you are already in it, so technically you have joined. Judges and Peaches in the past. So. It's locked. It's fine. I can't go in their house. It's locked from the inside. Oh, there's the ice that the guy was throwing. <clears throat> Should I follow the ice? Sure. Oh, can't do anything with the ice. It's papyrus. Wait, if you're gonna... Actually, I don't know. Human! If you're, gonna, you're gonna probably be fighting him, right? I'd imagine so. So it would be probably uncomfortable for you to read them as well. Mm. Okay, do you want to read papyrus then? I guess for now you can, but when you start fighting, I'll, I, I will grab your job for you. <clears throat> okay. Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Somehow, I feel like you're an old friend. Even though I've never actually met you before. Is this because I played the game before? Yeah. <laughs> you catch up quick. I can't explain why I feel this way. Did I meet you online? I have many social media connections. It's hard to keep track of them all. Just a dozen oh, more and... Dialogue, I'll finally reach double digits. Hey, wait a second. You can't be my friend. You're human. I can't believe you almost tricked me into not defeating you. Whoopsie doopsie. Papyrus blocks the way. Flirt, 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 flirt. What? what? Fl <laughs> flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings. Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards.
No, Val. I can make spaghetti. Oh, no. You're meeting all my standards. I guess this means I have to go on a date with you. Let's date l later, after I capture you. That has bad implications. Yeah, I was about to say that, actually. Papyrus wants to date his own prisoner. That's a very high, like, imbalance of power. Yeah. Papyrus groomer confirm. Papyrus is thinking about what to wear for his date. Oh no! Let's date l later, after I capture you! <laughs> Twitter is salivating. <laughs> Papyrus is thinking about what to cook for his date. You flirt, but to no avail. Seems acting won't escalate this battle. Let's date l later, after I capture you. Well, I don't want to hit fight. Do you want me... Actually, think back to Toriel. Back to Toriel? What about back to Toriel? Well, how did you fight Toriel? I don't remember. <laughs> well, try to remember. So you won't fight. Then let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack. Do you remember how to fight against blue attacks? No, I forgot. Oh. You're blue now. That's my attack. <laughs> You're blue now. That's the joke. Because Sun said, make sure you know how to fight. How to... Oh, the, you know about the blue attacks? And that's the attack he meant. Because it was dark blue. Papyrus is too busy fighting to flirt back. Dabs mit MIT brand Bishy Cream behind his ear. MTT. MTT brand. What? I'm not thinking about that date thing. Uh, uh, okay. Empty tea brand anime powder. Hold up longer to jump higher. Jeez. <laughs> oh, I get it. It's so nice of him to give advice in the middle of battle. It is. Cute juice <laughs> behind his ear. <laughs> is that the same as spider juice? Maybe. Attraction slime. I can almost taste my future popularity. You're already popular, Papyrus Story. Popular, popular, popular. Or Woo! Whatever. Beauty popular. yogurt. Papyrus, head of the royal guard. Oh. I got trolled. Papyrus realizes he doesn't have ears. Damn. Papyrus, unparalyzed, unparalleled sp spaget spaghettore? Same, Val. I wish I could be as cool as Papyrus. Papyrus is rattling his bones. Undyne will be really proud of me. Ow. You know what? I under underestimated your abilities. You're doing perfectly well beating him and playing, so... <laughs> the king will trim a hedge in the shape of my smile. Oh. Oh, oh boy. Oh, oh, I'm understanding it. Okay, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. Papyrus is cackling. Too busy fighting to flirt back. My brother will... Well, he won't change very much. Ooh. Papyrus is...
Pyrus is considering his options. I'm going to eat one of my bicycles. Boning. You've covered What's 11 HP. Uh, there's some kind of pun that Sol that's, that Fizz is doing. Yeah, I know, but what is... I don't know the word, hamboning. Hey, I don't get it, either. There's a pun, for sure, but I don't I don't get it. No. Well, Pyrus is trying hard to play it cool. Hamboning. Will anyone like me as sincerely as you? This is when you slap yourself to make music. Oh! That was very humorous. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. See now the chat thinks you're dumb and stupid because you don't know how what hamboni means. They didn't have any expe any expectations of me before, so so that didn't really change anything. Any of their ideas about me, but they did about you. Pyrus is trying hard to play it cool. And dating might be kind of hard. But I accidentally deleted the message. Well done, Val. Yeah, as you should have. As you should have. It was way too offensive. After you're captured and sent away. What? I didn't hit that. <laughs> okay. I made it. Pyrus is trying hard to play it cool. Urgh. Who cares? Give up! Nailed it. I like how all of the easy ones I hit, and then all of the like challenging ones I nail it. I what is wrong with me? That kind of day. You know. <laughs> Give up or face my special attack! I'm gonna heal again. Yeah, very soon I will use my special attack. Mm, special attack. Oops. Pyrus is considering his options. Not too long, and I will use that special attack. Pyrus is rattling his bones. This is your last chance before my special attack! Ow. Ooh, last chance. Cheap. Pyrus is considering his options. Behold! My special attack! <gasps> what the heck? That's my special attack! Hey! You stupid dog! Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone! Hey! What are you doing? Come back here with my special attack! Oh well. I'll just use a really cool regular attack. You might heal, want to heal, maybe. I don't know. You reapplied the bandage. Still kind of gooey. Your HP is maxed out. Here's an absolutely normal attack. Ow. Cool. Dude. Dude. <gasps> That's so cool. Keep up, up, da, up. Ooh! Okay. Was I cheating by saying that you should? Ah, whatever. What? what? Was it cheating for me to say that you should keep pressing? I probably would have died to it. Okay. <laughs> well, it's clear you can't defeat me. Yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the Great Papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now's your chance to accept my mercy. Kill it. <laughs> Yo -ho -ho. I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undyne's going to be disappointed in me. 
I'll never join the Royal Guard, and my friend quantity will remain stagnant. <clears throat> really? You want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess, I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wow, I haven't even had our, we haven't even had our first date, and I've already managed to hit the friend zone. Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through, and I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit, except someone with a powerful soul, like you. That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is, well, he's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I am certain if, if, certain if you just say, excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. <laughs> Who knew all I needed to do was to make friends was to make give them awful puzzles and fight them? Sounds like JD. It kind of does, actually. Yeah, wait. Are JD's of Pyres confirmed? I'm gonna save the game. Maybe you and Papyrus are based. Maybe JD and Papyrus actually share a lot in common. Maybe they could be friends in a different universe. When you realize Papyrus inspired Majesty's personality, that's a great inspiration. A perfect one. It actually makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Do are we gonna have the date? Yeah, why not? Play. Wow, you're so eager to date me. You're trying to go into my house without me. That's really weird. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That is really weird. So you came back to have a date with me. You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. My house! This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. <laughs> Delicious. That's the trash can. Feel free to visit it anytime. Aha! Interested in my food museum? Please. Peruse my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. That's basically student life. That's my fridge right now. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. What? Catch that meddling canine! Curses. Sands! Stop plaguing my life with incidental music. My brother always goes out to eat, but recently, he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with a sugary, non-egg substance. How absurd! A pancake? Something like that, yeah. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sands. Sands! Please pick up your sock! 
Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Didn't you say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it. You touch the couch. It makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20 gold. Nice. Wait, could you try? I'll see you later. It's my favorite game, though. <laughs> I make a joke so bad, but it's not wholesome. Oh, boy. Oh, say it. it's my favorite say game it. show. It says, stay tuned for a new program. MTT. What? That's it's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. Can you try going in and out of the kitchen? Constantly. It made a noise. <laughs> it's like a game. Oh, I see. Oh. To keep more bones under it. It was explained. So close. Dang it. <laughs> Who knew that was this was the hardest mid game in the game? Yeah, it made the noise. What does the noise mean? Uh I don't know. Talk to papyrus maybe he'll tell you. I don't know. Yeah, high score possibly. No, nah, because that definitely wasn't my high score. I can't feel my legs. That must be it. mean I'm being a great host. <laughs> it's a joke book. Take a look inside. Yes. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. <laughs> That's my room. If you finish looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Not yet. A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. The door is locked. Oh. <clears throat> That's my room. Yeah, let's go in. Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday. Even though I, it basically just happened. Yo, race car bed? True. The internet! I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away. From a double-digit follower count. Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has been has besieged my online persona. Always sending me sounds. bad puns in a goofy font. Totally sounds. Yeah, that sounds. The computer's internet browser is open to a social media site. People in chat played this game before, actually. I'm curious. There are no skeletons inside my closet. Except me sometimes. Look inside the closet. <laughs> oh. Is Papyrus gay? <gasps> oh my god, yeah. He's in the closet sometimes. Ah. Oh. Interesting. Hmm. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. 
That book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. That next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. Isn't that flag neato? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. <laughs> ah, yes, action figures. A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa! That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway, wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. No hair, no skin. So, um, Sad. if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Date okay, again. dating start. Here we are on our date. I've actually never done this before, but don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. <laughs> I snagged an official dating rule book from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one, press the C key on your keyboard for dating hut. Crime. <laughs> Reel it in, egg. <laughs> Wait, it's actually Friday. Yes. Are we? Know it? That's... I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. Step two. Ask them on a date. Ahem. Huben, I, the Great Papyrus, will go on a date with you. Really? Are we? I guess that means it's time for part three. You were very quick to accept. I was. Step three, put on nice clothes to show you care. You didn't, did you dress up nice? I don't, could I have? <laughs> no, no, just continue. Wait a second, wear clothing? That bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that, earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be you've wanted to date me from the very beginning? Yes. No. You planned it all. You're way better at dating than I am. No. Your dating power. Yeah. Yeah. Don't think you've bested me yet, Tension. I, the Great Papyrus, so have never been beaten at dating, and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I, too, can wear clothing. In fact... I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes, just in case someone else, somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! Yeah. What do you think of my secret style? I love it. So cool. No! A genuine compliment! <laughs> However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further, unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Human souls are stronger than monster souls, but the souls of our shoes, on the other hand, are about the same. <clears throat> There's no secret to my legs, just hard work That's... and perseverance. What? What? Whatever. I'm rolling my eyes right now. I was looking at his shorts. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Holding my hand, so I'll tell you the answer. No, I must resist. <laughs> this shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Expert tip. All clothing articles can be improved this way. <laughs> I see, I see. You like caressing my biceps with a floating heart. But who doesn't? True. My hat? I'd love to. My hat. My hat! Yeah! <laughs> well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. Do you know what this is? Of course. Spaghetti. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? So kind of right. Like brain. 
But oh, so wrong. This isn't any plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silk and spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cask, then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Sounds Human. Delicious. It's time to end this. There's no way this could go any further. You take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression! You must really love my cooking! And by extension, me! Maybe even more than I do! Oh! Urgh. No! This papyrus voice is destroying my throat. <laughs> Can, do, should I switch with you? <coughs> Probably. Okay. Human. Ah, human. It's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say. Wait, I need to do a nyahaha. Nyahaha! It's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feeling. It's time that I told you. I. <clears throat> I, Papyrus. Okay, finally I got, I got there. I, Papyrus. I. Um. Boy, is it hot in here or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I. I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought because you flirted with me that I was supposed to go on a date with you. And then, on a date, the feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for the second best. Ha 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 ha! <laughs> oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go. Yeah. Now you can call Papyrus in <coughs> any given location at any time, and in every single location he will give a different piece of dialogue. That's funny. FYI. <laughs> <coughs> You're in my house. You're in my house. Good choice. Though I guess it's technically Sans' house too. But I prefer not to discuss his part of it. His room is it's like another world. A world where they don't know how to vacuum. You you have your voice again? Or did you feel the need to take back the role of a pirate because I was doing that badly? No, I just I I just wanted to finish it off because it's about to leave his house. Okay. Ba -da -dum, ba -da -dum, ba -da -dum. So the house. Drink some water. Uh, my glass is empty, actually. <clears throat> That's bad. Is there no way to go in this house? No. Sad. It's just a funny little joke. I 
feel like my voice got more high pitched, like naturally as well after I did that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, um, Fizz, uh, Magpie, the person who I'm in call with, she is uh, my my right hand person for. Fizz, wait, I don't remember. Fizz and Fanta. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I said I made that joke. I'm just <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> Magpie is, is also whenever we did Fractured at part one she was like the co-owner of the server with me yeah and I was an annoying little imp yo are you sneaking out to see her too awesome she's the coolest right I wanna be just like her when I grow up hey don't tell my parents I'm here <laughs> This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. Neat, huh? Neat, huh? Neat, huh? <clears throat> Neat, huh? Neat, huh? Neat, huh? Oh wait, so if I talk to him. He's too far. Uh oh. <laughs> Lame. What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to Grillby's. Wanna come? Yeah. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from work. Over here. I know a shortcut. Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. <clears throat> Greeting, Sans. Greeting, Sans. Hiya, Sansy. Hey, Sans. Weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. Uh -huh. Here, get comfy. Whoops. Watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Fries. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Grillby, we'll have a double order of fries. So, what do you think of my brother? Cool. Of course he's cool. You'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. <laughs> Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Yes. Bone appetit. You tip oh. the ketchup. The cap falls off and all the ketchup in the bottle pours onto your food. Whoops. Eh, forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree Papyrus tries real hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next, next, next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's, uh, still a work in progress. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? So you know all about it. The echo flower. They're all over the marsh. <clears throat> Say something to them, and they'll repeat it over and over. Oh no, I thought he was talking about Flowey from the beginning of the game. Yeah, because he said it in the yellow. I think you were meant to think that. What about it? I think. Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. That's concerning. That's <laughs> uh, warning you that Flowey is moving around the game. Well, that was a long break. To a virus. I can't be believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just 10,000 yeah. G. Yeah. Just kidding. Grillby, put it on my tab. 
By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. I hate people like that. <laughs> hate people that forget <laughs> forget things what they're gonna say. <laughs> yeah, but also I also do that a lot. But it's I like no, but sometimes people don't forget, but just say that because they want to say like they're like, oh, I want to say something, but actually, never mind, I don't want to say it. Oh. I hate I people who forget. Fair enough. No, Fair enough, no, Fizz. I... Okay, I thought I thought Fizz was quoting me, but if but maybe maybe Fizz is disagreeing with me. In that case, it's lame. I hate people who don't have a good memory. No, Magics, I have an awful memory. Actually, it's honestly I do. So it's fine. Rocks. This is a box. You can put an item in or take an item out. Why would you, so though? True, Fizz. You can't use items when they're in the box. Sincerely, a box hater. I'm a box hater. What's the need for a box, Ooh! anyways? Dodged it. I, I think I took the dangerous path for no reason. I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. Oh. Huh? There's a camera behind the waterfall. There was a camera right when you left uh, the tutorial area as well, like in the bush, remember? Oh, yeah. There's a tutu lying on the ground here. Will you take it? Of course I will. Old tutu. Armor 10. What? I that wasted my money on the manly bandana. <laughs> well, it worked on the papyrus fight, right? I think it, it was pretty useful. It is true. It did help on the papyrus fight. <clears throat> Pretty bright. Hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report. Uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier. Huh? Did I fight them? Y yes, of, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? W well, no. I tried very hard, Undyne. But in the end, I failed. W what? You're going to take the human's soul yourself? But Undyne... You don't have to destroy them. You see... You see... I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Undyne is so cool. And scary. <laughs> Terrifying. I call Dipsy voice her. That's fine. Yeah, I won. Yes. I allow you. Zab, do you allow him? I don't know who fleets Yo. who heats flames man is, but sure. Yo, did you see the the way she was staring at you? That was awesome! I'm so jealous! What did you do to get her attention? <laughs> Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys! Actually, Zap, it would be a fun gag. But you would need to be very quick with that, because it's like it's like a, a line of dialogue. When four bridge seeds align in the water, they will sprout.
sent him in DMs. Oh, okay. I think Sap and Alphys have a lot in common. We haven't met Alphys yet, but I think Sap and Alphys are pretty similar. <coughs> Aaron flexes in. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack increases for you two. Flexing contest? Okay, flex more. And he is basically you. <laughs> I'm joking, of course. Of course. I'm not that buff yet. Maybe one day. Yet. Aaron is ready for your next flex. When do you plan on having a 12 back? Um... Whenever I get a new job that makes it so that I can go to the gym on a consistent schedule. Hey, I plan on going to the gym from March, maybe. Aaron flexes thrice as hard. Attack increases for you two. Nice. I won't lose, though. Oh! That was scary. He's getting faster. Okay. Aaron is ready for your next flex. Did you check Aaron? I didn't. Aaron flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. Oh. I think when you check him, it says that all of his attacks are easier to draw, dodge at the top of the screen. Hmm. I want to read that sign. Oh, I can read it by taking these. Such an intense music. Very intense music. It feels like church. Congratulations! You failed the puzzle. <laughs> wow! Thanks. Congratulations. Yes, yeah, Zap, and that's a lot, actually. I think it's. I know. I think Alphys would also love Hasmin Hotel. So. Try. Try going down there to the right with this. Like, over there? Yeah. Isn't Alphys a dinosaur? Alphys is a fish? There's a lone quiche sitting underneath this bench. Will you take it? Heck yeah. You got the abandoned quiche. I just wasn't ready for the responsibility. Oh. I think that's Gotcha. <laughs> Cause he made that sweet quiche. Yeah. I see the solution. It's kinda clever. Oh yeah, she says I'm four of a fish. Okay. Okay, I get it, I get it. It's Judge's technically second playthrough, but the first time around he only played up until the Undying Flight and he didn't actually do the Undying Flight, I think. Hello! This is Papyrus. How did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours. <laughs> so, what are you wearing? I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a dusty tutu. Is that true? Are you wearing a dusty tutu? Yeah. So you are wearing a dusty tutu. Got it. Wink, wink. Have a nice day. Click. I think Papyrus is trying to keep us in a situation ship. Probably. A long time ago... Uh -huh. Oh, you go ahead. <laughs> Whatever you... Okay, you can read it if you want. No, you go. Okay. A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all your heart, your wish would come true. Now, all we have are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. 
wishing room. Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. But uh -oh. you want to do every second one. Washua! Washua shuffles up. Touch. Reach out. Washua recoils from your touch. Yuck! Tweet! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Washua is friends with a little bird. Clean. You ask Washua to clean you. It hops around excitedly. Green means clean. No, no, I'm missing all the green. Washua is friends with a little bird. Clean. Green means clean. Bro, he keeps sending the greens not towards me. There we go. Can I? Does he heal me if I touch the greens? I think so, but you're not gonna heal. You're probably gonna get hit. I got this. You can just also save, and that recovers health. I healed a lot. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna work with that. I healed five. What's up, Luffy? I won. I earned twenty-five gold. Okay, so I'll read these two. <clears throat> Luffy, come on, yeah. sis, make a wish. You actually, you 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 read it. Actually, wait, wait, fuck. You said you were gonna read it. Read it. Read it, <coughs> please. I didn't, uh, I, didn't, I didn't read it. I didn't okay. read it. That didn't happen. Come on, sis. Make a wish. I wish my sister and I will see the real star someday. That's cute. Aww. Look through the telescope? Yeah. Check wall. Check wall. That's scary. Uh, what, wasn't there like a thing there? Thing where? Like down here? Yeah. Oh yeah, one more flower. One more flower. Ah, it seems my horoscope is the same as last week's. <laughs> uh oh. Dead. Mold's mall. Who's gonna read this? Who's gonna read this? Enchanting wooden planks for an hour? Um. Can I read this? This is gonna be lore. Yeah, you can read them. <clears throat> the War of Humans and Monsters. That's the title. <clears throat> Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul. A horrible beast with unfathomable power. Hmm. Drink some water. I can't believe that... Did I already make the joke about the future Pirate King being in your chat? Or was I just thinking that joke? You've made that joke before. Okay. I thought I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, man. 
Oh. Oh, jeez. Undyne is so cool. Oh, not again. Not again. Okay. We're good. You know what? I'm thinking back, and I think you did fight Undyne. I remember this, this spear bit. I think you did the final battle too, though. Maybe. Because I remember you being at the snail farm. Yo, did you see that? And then just that, that, that. <laughs> I'm never washing my face ever again. Man, are you lucky? If you were standing just a little bit to the left, I, I lost the voice completely. Yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. This cheese has been here so long, a magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. Squeak. Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the mag my mystical crystal, it fills you with determination. Thanks. It's an odd looking telescope. Thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 G to use this premium telescope, but since Santa I know you, constantly starting new businesses. you can use it for free. How's about it? Use the telescope? Yes. There's nothing. Red. Huh? You aren't satisfied? Don't worry, I'll give you a full refund. I don't need that anymore. Look at your face. Look at your face. Okay, now it's gone. Oh. But the, the telescope made it so that one of your eyes was colored. Hmm. I relocated my store, but there are still no customers. Fortunately, I've thought of a solution. Punch cards. Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a free ice cream. They're sure to get the customers to come back. Ice cream. It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 25G. Yes. Super. Here you go. Your card's in the box. You've got the ice cream. Ooh. Most broken item in the game? Why? Whoa, three punch cards. Use to make punching attacks stronger in one battle. Use outside of battle to look at the card. Used by speedrunners to kick cutscenes and warp in rooms. Oh. Please. Please come back. Fair enough. <laughs> I've never seen any less player look at the card, actually, you know? That's the first time I've seen the punch card. Ancient glyphs have been painted over with a list of 21 different flavors. Oh. And also, I've never seen a speedrun of this game, so I've never seen the use of punch cards. <clears throat> What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? Yes. Is that an onion? Duck. Just too far. 
a bird monster? Try talking to it. Or you could put me on the line. I've got some pretty good tweets. Horrible bird imitations. Now there's no Twitter to tweet in. Just X. X to exit. <laughs> X to exit. So? Don't you have any wishes to make? Mm, just one, but... It's kind of stupid. Washua shuffles up. Green means clean. Washua is a great way to make money. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, that, that works with your T2. <laughs> Oh, it's a weapon. I don't need that. Hello! This is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know, her opinion of you is very... murdery. But I bet you knew that already. Because you knew that, I told her what you told me you were wearing. A dusty tutu. Because I knew, of course, after such a suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes. You're such a smart cookie. This way you're safe and I didn't lie. No betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone is easy. Click. Hello, Papyrus. Me too. <clears throat> Mold small. Easy battle. You wiggle your hips. Mold small wiggles back. What a meaningful conversation. Are you trying to get money out of this? I don't know. You lie immobile with Moltsmo. I feel like you understand the world a little bit better. <laughs> Bless me. Ow. I got one gold. I'm gonna link your Twitch and chats. Yeah, you can follow me and then I'll come up whenever I go live. You hear a passing conversation. Don't say that. Come on, I promise I won't laugh. The power to take their souls. This is the power that the humans feared. Tentacle? Am I reading something? No. Okay. Hey there. Noticed you were here. I'm Onion San. Onion San, you here? You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Even though the water is getting too, so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time, but... Hey, that's okay. It beats moving to the city and living in a crowded aquarium like all my friends did. <laughs> and the aquarium's full. Anyway, so, even if I wanted to, I... It's okay, though, you hear? Undyne's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? Hey, there. That's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. In Waterfall... Shiren hides in the corner, but somehow encounters you anyway. Aww. Smile. 
You smile. You ask to see Shiren smile too. Shiren gets quieter in the corner. Aaron nods his head approvingly. Shoot. Shiren pretends to be a pop idol. Conduct. You wave your arms wildly. You are now vulnerable to electric attacks. Dude. Hum is very faintly. Hum. You hum a funky tune. Shiren follows your melody. See them, see me, see me. Shiren seems much more comfortable singing along. Aww. You won. You earned zero experience and 30 gold. Northern Room hides a great treasure. There's a piano here. Play it. Want a tip? Yeah. You don't know the melody yet. Fair enough. A haunting song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Only the first eight are fine. The game is very quiet. I thought it was kind of loud. It's almost louder than Magpie for me. Yeah. Some game sounds are loud, but the game music, I think, is quiet. Well, I'll turn it up know, a bit. The piano wasn't... I wasn't able to hear the piano, at least. Change the volume in OBS? It's just desktop and mic audio. What do you mean? Th th here's the problem. If I turn, like... Oh, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. This power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears. An incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. How to use virtual cables? Never. There is only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death. If only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul. But this has never happened. And now, it never will. <gasps> it's a statue. The structures at its feet seem dry. Please take one. Take an umbrella? You took an umbrella. You can give it to the statue. Oh. Put the umbrella on the statue? Yes. Music box begins to play. And now you know the melody. Okay. It's not making any noise when I do this. Weird. It's really weird, actually. Other... Try doing. Oh. Oh, it's working now. Okay. Is that it? Do, 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 do. Oh, there's a fifth note. I see. Mm. 
I'm having a hard time here. Do, do. I think it's higher. I think I'm it's neutral. I, I think it's the first one and the last one. Do, 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 do. Okay. Oh, oh my cool. god, you got it! I did it. I did it. It's a legendary artifact. Will you take it? Yes. You're carrying too many dogs. Oh. Annoying dog. Dog. A little white dog. It's fast asleep. You deployed the dog. Oh. The dog absorbs the absorbs the artifact. The artifact is gone. Oh, was I supposed to not let the dog have it? No, you you, you couldn't have not let the dog have it. Gotcha. Actually, you have a dog residue in your inventory now, and that's uh something like when you use it, it fills your. Uh, inventory with dog residue and dog salad and dog salad is food so technically you have a f and like a food source unlimited food okay hint. oh it gives you a hint here I didn't know that <laughs> oh yeah you're right it basically shows you the time I could have just waited oh man that's goofy <laughs> Yeah, it just shows you the answer. <laughs> of course. I did it I did it like a man. Yeah, like a true gamer. <coughs> we didn't do the red ball last time, I can tell you that. Yo, yo, you got an umbrella? Awesome. Let's go. Man, Undyne is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night. Knowing she was gonna beat me up. <laughs> so, one time... We had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, 
volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. If you mod the game to remove the dog from your inventory in the room and then try to pick up the artifact, it gives you the dialogue, this will never happen. That's awesome. Um, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to have her hurt an innocent person. Well, then I have nothing to worry about. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize I was still playing the game. It looked like a cutscene. Pretty scene, so I understand. Pretty castle. It's like a Disney. Am I supposed to look at the castle? No. <laughs> like if you want to. New home. Yeah, it's new home. Yo, this latch is very steep. Hmm, yo, you wanna see Undyne, right? Climb on my shoulders. Yo, you got you go in the head. <laughs> Luffy, you got shot down so hard. <laughs> also, I'm lurking. I don't think YouTube has a lurk function. Thanks for lurking. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. Does do you say your name Luffy or Luff, Luff, Luffy? Luffy, Luffy. I've said Luffy, Luffy, but I, I guess it's it's up to I them, not me. I say Luffy because of One Piece. <laughs> it's your turn to read these. The humans, afraid of our power, declared war on us. They attacked suddenly and without mercy. The serene sound of a distant music box. It fills you with determination. I, I can still kind of hear the music box. I don't know if that's just my ears ranking. In the end, it could hardly be called war. United, the humans were too powerful, and us monsters too weak. Not a single soul was taken, and countless monsters were turned to dust. Hey, here's a question. I just saved the game. Is this, uh, do you think I should stop here? Mm, not necessarily. Okay. Actually, maybe. Uh, it's not right before the final final battle yet. Say again. The, it's not. It's not before the f like undying fight yet. If that's where you want to stop. But actually, maybe you want to stop before that. I guess we can stop after this. Oh, I was doing so good, too. Oh, this is a dead end. It's a maze.
this whole area is a dead end. Oh my gosh. What? Oops. Didn't get hit, so it's fine. Damn. Um, she's becoming worse, like uh, more cruel with time. Have you noticed that? I have. And I think I'm handling it like a boss! Oh, I oh. Okay, I was doing pretty good. I'm proud of myself, alright? I'm just saying. I think I'm dead here. Yeah, I'm dead. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. It was hard, to be fair. Judd, stay determined! Yeah. I think I did pretty good. Just saying. Yeah, stay determined. I also never realized she gets that fast that like in that area if you don't finish quickly. Okay, so there's like nothing up here. Right? I think I I think I exhausted all of these directions. Yeah, I did. I can't go that way. How did I miss this? No clue. There's two ways I can go up or no, never mind. Up is a dead end. And you're dead. It sounds like it came from over here. <coughs> oh, you've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. Judge, huh? That's a nice name. My name is, and I didn't, didn't get to see their name. Ominous. Yeah. Mystery. And you fell on the bed of the golden flowers. Piles of garbage. Is the beginning of the thing. There are quite a few brands you recognize. Just garbage. Empty tea. Empty tea brand, maybe. Remember? Oh, yeah. Occasionally, pieces of trash will flow through and fall into the bottomless ab abyss below. Viewing this endless cycle of worthless garbage it fills you with determination. I think we can stop here. Here? Okay. Yeah. Well, everyone, that was uh, that was Undertale with Magpie, episode 2. We will continue this in the future. On a day that is not yeah. today. <clears throat> Good night. I'll... I'll have a bunch of free time soon, so maybe. Sweet. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Thank you. Stream ending? Yeah. I'll be on Cryptocraft later, though. 
I'll, I'll be on CryptoCraft later. Don't worry. Don't worry. By the way, Judge's finale is tonight if you missed JD's last night. Anyway, good night and goodbye, everyone. Thank you, Magpie, for streaming with me. Thank you for letting me stream with you. Bye for now. Bye, Tony.